Hello, in this tutorial you'll discover the potential of the Schillinger Strata Harmony technique. It presents the design of a multi-layer chord progression and then the transformation into an orchestral piece with instrumental forms. Let's introduce the Schillinger Strata Harmony technique. You'll find it in his System of Musical Composition. Based on the general theory of harmony, we'll learn how a chord progression may be written as a dense multi-layer and multi-part setting with known properties. This approach has great potential for both orchestral and electronic music, in film and game music. I'll demonstrate this technique with an orchestral example. The Strata Harmony subject is covered in Book 9 from the two-volume series on the Schillinger system of musical composition. On this YouTube channel you'll find many tutorials based on this system, including two episodes that might familiarize you with the terminology. The General Theory of Harmony releases all earlier restrictions from traditional harmony and includes the strata harmony approach. In this tutorial I'll demonstrate essential strata harmony aspects, but the subject deserves extended study as I've done myself in the past. I guarantee you that it is a worthwhile effort. The score fragment on the right is also presented as a diagram. This is a multiple strata example with a total of 11 parts. Note how the pitches in the four strata avoid overlap. In the layers observe how parts were created through either doubling or coupling, an aspect discussed in more detail in the later example. Part positioning, that is the vertical stacking, and appropriate transformation of the structures within a layer leads to independent voice leading for doubled parts. The strata technique has great application potential for orchestration and controlling dense multi-part textures. These aspects will return in my example, which is based on a chord progression in the various Schillinger systems of harmony. The piece has ternary form and opens with a diatonic symmetric harmony. Again, for the details of this specific system, please watch other channel episodes. But here is a summary of the approach. Diatonic symmetric harmony starts with a diatonic scale. Here the melodic ascending form of the G minor scale. We will use a modal variant starting on root D. In this type of continuity, the roots are taken from the diatonic scale. Chord structure types are selected independently and here are based on the first expansion, that is chords in thirds. This leads to non-diatonic and altered pitches for the chords marked with X in the score. Root movement, stability and control is based on the diatonic Schillinger root cycle approach with positive and negative leaps by multiples of the interval of the third. The progression uses triads and seventh chords in both root and inversion positions. And in the middle I've inserted a passing 6-4 group. For the voice leading I've maximized smooth stepwise motion and correct preparation and resolution of the dissonant chordal function 7. In the piano rendering, the lowest right hand part is transposed up an octave, in preparation of the strata harmony setting. The four part chord progression returns as the middle layer S2 in the three strata adaptation and is played here by the strings. Listen and be aware of how the interspersed non diatonic chords affect the sonority of this progression. Create a lower layer, S1, by doubling the part P1 at the lower octave. 
Here the bass guitar plays exact parallel octaves with the celli. Doubling is mostly used in outer parts, since we still want to avoid overlap and crossing in the middle parts. The upper layer, S3, is created through both doubling and coupling. The score shows this layer at the lower octave, for easy reading. First, parts P2 and P3 from S2 are doubled at a higher octave, while swapping positions in the layer. This is essential, since it will create independent and different voice leading in the doubled parts. The upper part receives what is called a coupling, a new pitch in parallel with the lead. Here I used mostly perfect fifths, but a coupling may be any parallel interval. The result is the introduction of remote pitches not included in the original four part setting, which gives this conventional progression a more modern, unfamiliar sound, here rendered with a synthesizer pad. Listen to the combination of six parts from the two upper layers and pay attention to the independent voice leading in the doublings. Finally, we combine all three layers in an eight-part voicing. The strata harmony approach has turned the original four-part progression into a new and fresh setting with a modified sound. Combining subsets of layers and parts is a means for controlling density, and with careful orchestration, these may be used as sound layers in game music, where different combinations may return at different levels in the scenario. The second section in the ternary form example is in the symmetric harmony system. Now the starting point is a set of three roots, A flat, E and C obtained through equal division of the octave. The single, constant tension chord structure is a seven part extended dominant chord with function 3 omitted. The chord voicing yields polychords and through appropriate transformations we prevent parallel motion. Let's build the strata harmony setting. Note how the four lower voices in layer S2, as played by strings, display contrary closing motion. The chordal function 1, the root, is doubled in the layer S1. It receives a perfect fifth coupling, and thus there is parallel motion in this layer. The combined strata S1 plus S2 yield a six part setting in the low register. There is no pitch overlap and note the different voice leading for the root in both layers. The S3 layer consists of minor triads with chordal functions 7, sharp 9 and sharp 11. The 7 is a doubling from S2. 
there is clockwise transformation and thus these closed position triads move through the various inversions. Combine S2 plus S3 to obtain a 7 part setting. Note how there is different voice leading for the doubled 7 in the layers. We build another layer at the top by doubling P6 and adding a new chordal function, the 13 in part P7. Layer S4 shows another strata harmony technique by using multiple structures over a single chord in the lower layers. In this example, these are two or three two part structures, again using the 4 semitone equal octave division. The 5 part combination of S3 and S4 once again demonstrates that there is no pitch overlap between adjacent layers. And that there is different and independent voice leading for the doubled part P6. The combination of 3 layers, S1, S2 and S4 leads to an 8 part density. And this subset could be used as a different setting of the same chord progression. The strata approach therefore has great potential when writing game music. Another subset is the combination of the three upper strata, a nine part density. And here is the full 11 part high density setting in the symmetric harmony system and it is ready for orchestration. The final section of the example composition is in the diatonic harmony system. Now both chord roots and structures are constructed from the same diatonic scale, here the F Dorian mode. The chord structures are triads based on the second expansion of the scale and therefore chords in fourths. The diatonic continuity uses positive and negative root cycles. Cardal function 1, the root is in the left hand, with the three part upper structures in the right hand staff. Smooth voice leading is obtained by minimizing the sum of semitone changes in the triad transformations. In the strata harmony setting the chords and fourths in close position voicing are layer S2. An additional low register layer is obtained by doubling P1 at the lower octave and here played by bass guitar. The top layer S3 consists of two sets of doublings with various pitch pairs from the lower layers. As before, swapping positions lead to independent and different voice leading in this layer. When combining S1 and S3 in a 3 part density setting, the different voice leading for the chordal function 1, the root P1, becomes obvious.
The combination of strata S2 and S3 is a five-part setting, once again with pitch overlap avoidance and different voice leading. And here is the three-layer full strata harmony setting in the diatonic system. We are ready for orchestrating this example piece. Orchestration involves selecting instrumental forms for the parts in the layers. That is demonstrated for each section in the orchestral example composition, starting with the opening section, a gentle waltz. This reduced score is available in the companion booklet on the website. It is used to demonstrate the instrumental forms applied to the strata harmony chord progression. For me, creating instrumental forms is the fun part of writing music with this technique. First we choose the instruments. In the example these are orchestral instruments, but the strata continuity may be equally well transformed into electronic music. An instrumental form is designed for either a single part in a layer or for the combination of all instruments in a layer. The latter case typically is an orchestral section, a keyboard or a synthesizer pad. The combination of instrumental forms is another means to control the density of the setting. There is no need for a continuous tutti. Use appropriate instrumental forms and you will obtain maximum clarity. The at times massive strata harmony will become transparent and sound like individual parts. This yields great arrangements and makes mixing the audio easier. For each section you'll now hear instrumental forms in isolation and combinations. Read along with the annotated reduced score. I've indicated background harmony, melodic phrases, arpeggio patterns, etc. Let's start with the diatonic symmetric continuity. The middle section is a fast tempo agitato in 6-8 time signature. Remember it is the symmetric harmony with four extended chords with constant tension. What's different here is that I've used juxtaposition of layer subsets. It is a variable density approach, different from the A section where all parts were active and sounding all the time. Using this variable density approach allows me to extend the four chords into a longer section. What also is different is that a number of instrumental forms will use pitches from adjacent layers. You will hear this in melodic phrases and arpeggio patterns. Listen to the many combinations possible for this 11 part strata and symmetric harmony setting.
The final section is a slower, tranquilo, in 4 4 time signature. Remember, it is in the diatonic system and we use chords in fourths. The setting is less dense compared to the middle section. There are sustained background chords for strings. Some parts in the layer were transformed by the instrumental form into melody or countermelody, giving this phrase a counterpoint flavor. Once again, listen to the separate and combined instrumental forms. So now it's time to listen to the end result of the composition technique with strata harmony in various systems approach and generating suitable instrumental forms for the orchestral parts.
This tutorial is an extended and detailed application example of Schillinger Strata Harmony. Although mastering the technique requires further study, the example demonstrates various strata harmony aspects, such as the use of the multipart layers, the difference between doubling and coupling, pitch overlap avoidance, and how to achieve independent voice leading with careful application of transformations. The starting point of the example was a multilayer continuity. Here, a set of three chord progressions in the different Schillinger systems of harmony. These were transformed into an orchestral piece by designing appropriate instrumental forms that generate clarity in a dense setting. With this tutorial comes a companion booklet with all diagrams and score fragments. And there is a full score on my website. So, why not try this technique yourself and discover its potential for writing film or game music? For more video tutorials, please subscribe to the channel. I share many free music composition techniques, but I do welcome financial support for my education efforts. Follow the link in the description for a PayPal donation. On the website, you'll find more content and a number of ebooks in the webshop. Thanks for watching.